वेलकम ऑल टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल कोविड एस जी आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेरी वेल वी विल नाउ डिस्कस द जी एफ जी प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द डे द क्वेश्चन नेम इज फ्रिक्वेंसी गेम एंड द डिफिकल्टी लेवल इज ईजी इन दिस क्वेश्चन यू हैव गिवेन एन एरे ए ऑफ साइज एन एंड द एलिमेंट ऑफ द एरे कंसिस्ट ऑफ पॉजिटिव इंटीजर ओनली यू हैव टू फाइंड द लार्जेस्ट एलिमेंट विद मिनिमम फ्रिक्वेंसी नोट यू हैव टू ओनली फाइंड द लार्जेस्ट एलिमेंट विद मिनिमम फ्रिक्वेंसी लेट्स टेक द एग्जाम्पल नंबर वन इन दिस क्वेश्चन You have given n is equal to five, and the element of the array are two, two, five, fifty, and one. You will see that the frequency of one is one. The frequency of two is two. The frequency of five is one. The frequency of fifty is also one. You will see the minimum frequency is one. But the element with the largest element with the minimum frequency. Is fifty, so the output is fifty. Let's take the example number two. You will see that the frequency of three is two, and the frequency of five is also two. The the minimum frequency is two. The element having the minimum frequency two, the largest element is five, so the output is five. I hope you understand the co question of this. I hope you all understand the question easily. Let's go into the approach of this question. The approach is very simple. We have initialized a unordered map P. In this map, we will store the element with their frequency and iterate over the map to find out the largest element with the minimum frequency. Let's see. Then I have declared a variable mini, which is used to store the minimum largest element with the minimum frequency, and answer equal to minus one. Then I will iterate over the array elements, and whenever the array element come, I will increase its frequency by one. Then I will iterate over the map, and check if the second means first is the element and second is its frequency. Then I will check if the second is less than mini. If it is less than mini, then mini is equal to second element, and answer is equal to first. First is the element, and second is it, and second is its frequency. If there is a case when many of the elements is having the same frequency, many of the elements is having the minimum frequency, so then I will also check if i dot second is equal to equal to equal to mini. Means mini is storing the minimum frequency element, minimum frequency. Then we have to find the largest element with that frequency. So I will store answer is equal to max of answer comma i dot first. Answer will store the largest element with the minimum frequency. Then at last I will return the answer. If you have any doubt, please write into the comment section. Let's check whether it is going to submit or not. Yes, it is going to be submit successfully. If you have any doubt, please write into the comment section. I will provide the code into the comment section. Please, please subscribe my channel for such amazing videos. This keeps me motivated for making this type of videos. Please, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.